We sent our crew to visit Professor Mark Hernandez, PhD, university researcher and air expert. We asked him if there was a way of scientifically showing exactly what is going on inside the Arginus air sterilizer. So what we've been tasked with is testing the technology that's embedded in the Hunter device. And what we're doing is challenging these devices with all sorts of different human pathogens. And what we study here are the ones that make you sick. These include tuberculosis, several types of bacteria that cause different types of pneumonia. They also include several types of viruses, those that cause flu or the common cold. We take the filter media itself and we infect it with lots of viable bacteria. In this case, we used mycobacteria. These are very close relatives of the bacteria that cause tuberculosis. Put them in the actual filter and in the unit, and then operate the unit as it was designed. Now we'll take the filters out of the machines. We take the media and wash it. This transfers bacteria to the clean water. We introduce these bacteria to petri dishes and watch it grow. Here's what happens after overnight incubation. On the right-hand side here, you see petri dishes that are hosting active mycobacteria. And on the left, you can see very few, if any, mycobacteria were able to grow. The right-hand side are bacteria that were harvested with the Hunter unit when it wasn't operational. And on the left-hand side is you see the identical condition when the unit was operating. Our results suggest, and what I like about the technology that's embedded in this instrument is it's an above and beyond the conventional technology that's out there to remove things in the air. Because not only does it remove it, but it disinfects it at a significant rate.